Great to be with you once again for the marketplace. It's been a big, big day as far as free agency is concerned here in the Hungry Jacks NBL because the options list is out and options have either been taken up or not taken up. There are some very, very interesting names that we need to talk about in this episode. Jack Heverin alongside ESPN's Olgan Ulrich, the number one newsbreaker in basketball. Olgan, there's some happy campers and probably some not so happy campers right now. Yeah, that free agent list is super interesting. You got there, there are players there who you know we thought were going to test free agency and you know they're contracted. You know we, we'll talk about it, but I look at a name like Corey Webster, who you know it was unsure whether they were going to pick up that mutual option, whether they'd both opt into that, and it seems like they have. And then obviously on the other end, you've got someone like Ty Webster who's not contracted, and so mm. he's someone who's going to test his his uh, his value on free agency. So a lot of interesting names on that free agent list. Why don't we start with the Wildcats then and, and more specifically with the Webster brothers because there is a lot going on with Perth right now. As a recap, Todd Blanchfield and Mitch Norton are both looking at mutual explorations, I suppose you could call them. Likewise, Kyle Zunick, Luke Travers' name is up in the air. But let's talk Webster's. Corey taking up the option and Perth taking up the option for him to stay. Was this ever in doubt? There, there was some doubt because there's always this idea of the Webster's having a desire to play on the same team um, and it's just it's very difficult just for, for a team to opt into two players right you know they, there has to be mutual interest there has to be a desire to have them both in your system so that's that's always just a tough thing to do um, but you know with the way he played uh, with uh, the way he helped them especially toward the end of that season where he was an elite starter level guy he was the that you know that FIBA uh, Corey Webster that we know of um, you know it was there was some doubt there were, there were conversations but it seemed like there was mutual interest for Corey Webster to return. And what about Ty? Uh, there might be some Wildcats supporters who are surprised to hear this. Yeah, the you know we were approaching this date knowing that negotiations were ongoing. Um, I'm still under the impression that negotiations are quite fruitful. You know that they are positive conversations. But Ty Webster will test his value. One team I'm told is going to be uh, very intense in going after Ty Webster are the Adelaide 36ers. They have a desire to bring in an import point guard to put next to Mitch McCarron, but they're not against someone like Ty Webster, who I think most would consider a starter level point guard in the NBL, also being that, that backcourt partner to Mitch McCarron. And so Ty Webster is officially a free agent. The chatter with uh, Perth will continue to happen, uh, but the Adelaide 36ers are a team that I would look at there as a potential sleeper in, in going after him. Well, let's move to the Adelaide 36ers then, and that specific position in mind. He's saying that they're looking for an import import PG, which means that does that mean Mitch McCarron sliding to the two? That's that's the impression that I've got speaking to people over the past few days. It was something that they tried to do this past season with Craig Randall, and that didn't work out for for lots of other reasons. Um, but it's something that they're going to try and do again, and you know, it's sort of the number one priority on their list, an import point guard. Um, another thing you'll notice is Robert Franks is still contracted. Mm. And he is still technically on that 36ers roster. Um, there seems to be a mutual desire for some sort of parting of ways, and so there's a logistical situation that has to happen there in order for that to happen. Um, but the 36ers go into this free agency, outside of looking for you know a quality you know local big to, to pair with you know, Mitch McCarron and, and Antonius Cleveland is an import point guard. They want, to, they want to pair someone really dynamic up with Mitch McCarron. Options not taken up include Majuk Deng from the Cairns Taipans. Any surprises there? You know, that was slightly surprising, um, especially just seeing what Cairns is trying to do, which you know, they've been telling a lot of players that, you know, they were probably going to drop out of the rotation. They, they had priorities elsewhere. And so if you look at a Majuk Deng, he then said, okay, I'll opt out of this mutual option and test my value. Same thing with Ben Eyre, who they told him something similar, and then there was a, a mutual, basically, uh, decision for him to go and test his value as well, and so the Taipans opted out of that team option. Um, they, uh, Taipans have a desire to go after an import one and two. They've always got Tijin McCall there. Uh, I'm under the impression that Shannon Scott is unlikely to return, so that's the, the crux of what they want to do. They'll do their usual Taipans thing under Adam Ford and, you know, scour the, the college market. And there's, there's a, few, a few interesting names there. Um, but, yeah, someone like Ben Ayres, he will, he will uh, test free agency and he'll be elsewhere. Same with Majuk Dan. So it's starting to look like a pretty different Cairns Taipans roster, isn't it? Very much so. It, it's In the way I see it, it's unlikely that Keanu Pinder returns. 
um, just because he probably priced himself out of Cairns and it's starting to look like he's pricing himself maybe out of the NBL with the way he's playing uh, uh, in the ACB. But someone like that and, and someone like Bull Kowal is also going to attract significant interest from around the league. There are a ton of teams preparing pretty, pretty in- immense offers for Bull Kowal. So as far as the locals... Uh, in Cairns, that's going to be a completely different look, it seems. For the South East Melbourne Phoenix, they decided today not to take up the option with Junior Madut. Yeah, this was a different sort of situation where South East Melbourne Phoenix are closing in on a head coach. And so before they commit to any you know, significant pieces, they want to make sure they have their head coach in place. And so there still is interest in bringing Madut back into the fold. That has to be noted. As much as this was the team opting out of that team option... Uh, but you know that's what they've done, and so they can effectively, outside of you know Mitch Creek, Alan Williams, and uh, Ruben Tarangi and Owen Foxwell, they can basically have a clean slate when it comes to you know the local talent that they can fill that roster out with. Well, let's finish with the coach then in that case, Olgan, because we are in a position where there's one team in the league without a coach at this stage, despite free agency opening on Thursday. The Phoenix are still doing some business on that side of things. Are we pretty close now? It seems like we're really close. Uh, interviews with multiple candidates happened over the weekend, uh, over this past week. And so, you know, Tommy Greer and that, that front officer, they've got a sense of what they want. They, they want someone who's proven, who's, who's had experience as a head coach. You know, that's something that they haven't been shy about telling candidates. And they had a few meetings and it seems like there's a, an announcement or a head coach signing coming in the next few days. That's I would keep my, my eye on the Phoenix and, and what they're doing there because... That, that announcement appears to be coming pretty soon. You can find it all on nbl.com.au. Olgan, when we chat next, it'll be Thursday, and that will be the official opening of free agency at 9am. Are we expecting anything to land immediately? Should we be looking at our inboxes at 9.01? Is someone going to want to get something out there? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if a few teams... Uh, manage some extremely quick negotiations uh, when free agency opens on March 30th. Um, so so quick, almost unbelievably quick. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, so I would stay tuned, definitely. Stay tuned for the marketplace. We will be back on Thursday. Thanks very much for being with us, Olgan. We'll talk to you in a couple of days from now. Thanks, Jack. See you then. I look forward to your company next time on the marketplace.